This is the Bring Back Soul Music Podcast, the only podcast devoted to making soul music relevant again. Let's get started with your host, Todd Woodson. Thank you for joining me for another episode of the Bring Back Soul Music Podcast. My special, special, special guest today is part of a iconic group who I used to rock to back in the 90s. I'm talking to Mr. Michael Keith of the group 112. Michael, how you doing today, sir? I'm good, sir. How are you? Thank you. I'm good. Thanks for joining yeah, the Bring Back Soul Music Podcast. Thank you, sir. Thank you for having us, man. It's, it's so great to be here. I uh, appreciate it, man. And uh, I know you're pressed for time, so we're going to make this a quick interview and hopefully you can come back at some other point. Absolutely. With all this COVID is, is, is over with, man, we can have a more in-person, more personal kind yeah. of interview, man. I would love it. And you guys have a new EP that just came out September 4th, I believe it was. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. 112 Forever. Yes, sir. And I must admit, man, I heard a couple tracks on there, Spend It uh -huh. All and For Us. And I'm going uh -huh. to tell you, man, For Us, Sounds vaguely familiar. I bet it does. Back in the, in the mid. -90s. I bet it does. That was by design, Todd. Uh, we we planned what we what we did before us was we wanted to take it back to the good old days of the good old bad boy days. You know what I mean? And so for those that are thinking that it's that Craig Mack kind of flavor in your ear, kind of sound, kind of vibe, you're on the money because that was by design. We purposely did all of that just to remind people that, you know, of that era, that 90s era. So um, for us, it was just our ode to the Black Lives Matter movement. Slim and I finally decided to that we, we needed to say something about all the injustices that we saw. And uh, this was our contribution to it, man. And it's a it's a great record. The e the EP and it and it's an entirety. But I'm more proud of this record because of the message that it has behind it. So we're you know again we're we're really happy about what we're doing and the message that we have behind that record. Well, I I love it, man. And like I said, when I first heard it, I said, oh oh wait a minute, hold on, mm -hmm. they, they they back. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. the, uh, I guess the obvious question is, man, where y'all been? Well. Ooh, that's a great question, man. Um, from the last time that you heard us, um, we took a, we, I would say a, a professional sabbatical. And uh, I, I guess, you know, 20 years of being around each other at that time, man, we were just trying to figure out who we were as men, you know, who we were as individuals, because our lives had been predicated on three other individuals, you know, at the time. So it, like, I couldn't do one thing without the other three. And uh, so, yeah, we, we was just, it was, a, it was a soul searching, if you will. You know what I mean? Uh, during those, that time. And, you know, once we realized we went out and I did some some things in L.A., I went out to actually the Van Nuys and, you know, all of that. I stayed out there for about a year. And then, um, you know, just trying to do music and, and just trying to figure out who I was as an individual. And then but uh, but home came calling back, you know what I mean? And, and um, we felt like it was it was necessary that we, you know, put this put some 112 material back out because we still have a message. You know, we still have a we still had a lot left in the tank. And, you know, we wanted to go back out there and, and show the world that, you know, we hadn't went anywhere. OK. And also, you guys still have a uh, I'm, I'm assuming a large fan base, too. Absolutely. Those. And you know what? It's also great because now you can introduce the newer generation to one. It, it, it's funny, Todd, because we, we just did a, a surprise birthday party for 21 Savage last night. You know, it's, it's on the social, it's all over social media and stuff, man. So, you know, it just, it's just uh, an indication of how our music is timeless. You know what I mean? Like we started out when these kids, when, when 21 and Thugger and all them dudes, they had been four or five years old. You know what I mean? So, you know, for us to, for us to be relevant in their, in their world, man, it's just a testament to, you know, the, the body of work that we put together, man. So yes, our fan base is, is, is very vast, man. And, and we're, we are very appreciative. And the reason why we did this EP was for our fan base. So, you know, we're, we're very appreciative of, of the blessings that the Most High gave us with that. Okay. Let me ask you a question. How does it feel to be back? It feels pretty damn good, brother. <laughs> <laughs> Life does not suck, man. 
Um, I will say this, man, just just to be back and just to be in the limelight again, it, it feels familiar, but it's a whole different world with, you know, like this this new social media world that, that we're in now. It's a it's a great thing. But it also, you know, for somebody who who didn't like we're very private, 112 outside of the music, we're very private. So for us to give of ourselves and be as vulnerable as we are, man, that, that was a that was a 180, you know, from what we're accustomed to. But we we're we've we've adjusted. And uh, we're we're excited for the for the challenge, man. We're excited for this new world that we're in right now, man. And it, it feels pretty good to be one twelve. Okay, um, talk to us about the um, the new EP that just came out in September. Okay, okay. Well, man, the new EP came about because our fan base had been hitting us like, when can we hear some new music from you guys? You know, what's going on with you guys? Can we hear something? Please give us some R and B. Please give us some of that R and B that we're familiar with. And um, we we just we Slim and I we sat back and, and we said, bro, let's let's do it. You know, let's let's do it. Like what what else are we doing? You know what I mean? Like let's let's do it. So we we put this EP together with the mindset that this was for the fans. We we're going to give them a newer version of One Twelve, meaning we're going to give you the old One Twelve sound, but it's just going to be an updated version of it. And the songs are incredible. We came together with a team of producers and writers who are absolutely amazing. And um, they gave us that, that that young man swag, if you will. Right. And um, we we brought the old R&B, the, the, the meat and bones, and they came with the new swag. And we just put this, this trap and B kind of sound together, man. And, and uh, we're very happy with the outcome. Um, we're calling it an EP because technically it's nine records on there. But, but uh, honestly, it could have been a, it could have been easily could have been an album. If, if we had put like two more records on the on the, it could have definitely been a, an album. We're very proud of our body of work. Okay. And how is it? Uh, I know it's just been released. Um, how has it been received um, by your fans? Number one, it, it's been well received. It's surprising. And I and, and I say this, you know, and it sounds crazy because you know I'm always one that promotes excellence. So for me to say that I was surprised about something means that you know, like, bro, come on, man, you've always been talking about, but um. I would say that I'm surprised about the, the 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 response that we've been getting from the fan base with this EP. You know, it, it's like we knew that they were going to like it, but we didn't know they were going to like it like this, bro. <laughs> <laughs> so it's, it's it's just been it's just been a really good time, man. It's been amazing. The response has been amazing. The videos have been amazing. The the team has been amazing. The, it's just everything has just been amazing, man. Like, and, and you can't do anything but thank the Most High. Right. For you know, for for these blessings, man, because you know we we could be sitting at home doing nothing, you know, and and um, so we're glad. Okay, yeah, man, congratulations on. Um, I only heard the first two tracks, but oh, you got to get that, you got to hear that whole. I, I I, I want to listen to it the rest of it this weekend, but yeah, yeah, yeah. you get an opportunity, man. Like you know, you get a, a moment to yourself, man, because I know we spoke, um, you know, off camera, and we were talking about how you, the work that you're putting in as being a first responder, man. And, and again, from, from 112 side, we want to thank you for that. Yeah. Um, so I know that it's hard for you, man. But, you know, when you get a moment, man, when you get two seconds from saving the world, <laughs> <laughs> pop in that EP, man. Pop in that 112 EP, man. Okay. Okay. Yes, sir. Speaking of uh, uh, COVID, um, mm -hmm. we were talking offline. You're, um, you're a survivor of COVID-19. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I am. And, and, um, and thank you for asking because anytime that I get an opportunity to speak on it, I have to help the uninformed. It is real. COVID is real. You know, and like I told you, you don't know me from a can of paint, but there's no reason in the world why I would lie to you about that. I have no agenda whatsoever when it comes to that, other than you being safe. You know, for all these people that, oh, COVID is this, COVID is that, it ain't real and all this other stuff, I would beg to differ because I had to deal with that for about three and a half weeks of, of my family watching me deteriorate. You know what I mean? And me not being at full strength and not being able to do the things that I normally do with my kids, not being able to see my kids. You know what I mean? Like that's because I, I'm, I'm fearful of giving them the COVID. Right. You know what I mean? So it's 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 real. Wear your mask. If you don't do it for you, do it for your fellow man. Do it for the person next to you because you don't know. There's people walking around right now with underlying conditions that uh, that will be enhanced by this COVID if they if they contract this this, this awful disease, man. So I would just say that to those who don't believe, take it from somebody who has actually had it. Like I said, there is no agenda. I don't, I don't have no agenda whatsoever other than us as mankind moving forward and being safe about it, man. So wear your mask, it's real. 
COVID is real. Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, speaking from personal experience, man, I'm mm-hmm. telling people take it seriously. There's no take joke. it serious. Take it serious. Take it seriously, man. What I mean, what else you got to look? It's a mask. <laughs> it's a mask. Put the mask on. Okay, fantastic. You know, words of wisdom from Mike. Yeah. Um, Amen. I'm trying. All right. So what's what's on tap? Um, tap for. Um, Guess you really can't do anything with COVID, and right. Uh, we're, we're we're planning for 2021, like everybody else is, man. That that's the we're 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 speaking to a lot of promoters. We have a lot of tours lined up for 2021. Hopefully, okay. you know, if the vaccine does, you know, happen before then, and you know, it's all good. But uh, we normally start. We we normally kick off around March anyway. So we're hoping that it, it coincides with you know uh, uh, the masses being able to you know get get a hold of this vaccine. So. Um, fingers crossed, man. 2021 is the year that we're going to do a lot of touring. Um, the great thing about being an independent is we can we can promote this album from now until whenever we want to. So we'll be promoting this album all into 2021 as well. And, uh, you know, we're just we're, we're just moving forward, man. That's 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 what we're doing. We have a new uh, remix video for Spend It All and we're doing a remix video for uh, for us. We have Big Gip on, from Goody Mob on for us. And we have 69 boys and fat man scoop on spend it all remix. It's a, it's a, it's a base. It's a booty mix, man. So, you know, we're, we're excited about that. And uh, yeah, man. So um, you got, we got some things going on for 112, man. So it's, it's, we're, we're excited. Yeah. Well, keep a lookout for 112 because they are definitely back. Um, now you said you're, you guys are independent and, yes, sir. Uh, and I assume you guys want it that way. Yes, sir. Um, yeah. So, Oh, uh, man, this every time I want to ask a question, I run into COVID. So. <laughs> <laughs> no, ask a question, man. Ask a question. Um, I know 2021, you guys said you guys have a hopefully knock on wood if everything works out. Mm-hmm. Um, you guys are releasing. Now, I've heard the two. Now, I understand there's a third single that you're about to release. Yes. So uh, so what we our plan was when we did this EP was. If we can, we're going to release all the records on the CP, you know, only because um, in this world that we live in, it's about content, content, content and just staying relevant, just keeping um, keeping yourself on the on the minds and the, and the hearts of, you know, the people, you know, what, what, what's going on. So our goal was to release every last song as a single, if we can, if possible. So we currently have three videos out right now on our official 112 page on YouTube, which is 112 Rebirth TV. Say that one more time, 112 Rebirth TV. You'll be able to see all our videos. And so we have three videos out, Spend It All for us, Looking for Love. Looking for Love is our island record. Because we have a lot of island fans, a lot of people that, that's into the Afrobeat who are like, 112, y'all don't give us, y'all don't show us enough love, man. Like, what, what's going on? So we did this record to let them know that we heard you. And not only did we hear you, we're listening, and we gave you this record as well. The next song that we're gonna do is called Exclusive. And um, if, if if we if if the most high has his way, we're gonna have uh 21 Savage on 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 this record as well. So, you know, it's, it's it has that vibe to it. It's a more up tempo, more up to date kind of sound. And um and who knew that 21 was a big fan of 112, like we're fans of him. Right. And uh this collaboration couldn't have come at a better time. Yeah, absolutely. Um now I did read that you guys did uh you guys do a you guys did a versus? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We did. We did a versus with uh, our counterparts, our arch nemesis. No, I'm just kidding. Um, Jagged Edge, man, and and um, which was which was actually the the only way that we wanted to do it. You know, us because we felt like Jagged was the only the 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 only group that in our era that could have done a versus with one twelve. You know what I mean? Because of the history and because of our appreciation for each other. We've gone on tour with these guys on the experience tour that was um, back in uh, last year, as a matter of fact. And uh, it's, it's just been that we could do versus with. And of course we came with the W, you know, of course we, we came with the win, but, um, but yeah, man, it, it was a great time. And we had, we had a really great time celebrating each other as artists, you know, because I mean? we feel like we're this generation's new edition and no, not new edition, Jodeci and boys to men. You know what I mean? We feel like we're this generation's, you know, boys, men, jokes. So it was only right that Jagged Edge did versus with 112. And it was only right that 112 came with that W. <laughs> <laughs> we spanked them. <laughs> okay. 
<laughs> All right. On that note, Michael, I'm going to let you get out of here, man. I appreciate yes, you sir. taking the time today, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you very much. Please, uh, if your fan base, thank you so very much for you again, man, for all that you've done on that front line again, man. But if your fan base can please follow us on the official 112 on our social platforms, that's Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. That's the official 112. You can find all our videos on 112 Rebirth TV. And if you would like some merch, because we're selling that as well, go to 112forever.com. 112forever.com for all yeah. merch, our CDs. And you can get you can get an actual physical CD. We still, we're still we doing that. Wow. We, we yeah, that's that. how old school we are with it. Right. Yeah, man. So, yeah, those are the three, man. Thank you so very much, bro. Before you go, can you pick up all your music on the streaming services, Spotify? Yes, sir. On, on all social platforms, you can pick up the new EP, 112 Forever, on all social platforms. And, uh, yeah, and go to our page 112forever.com if you want a physical copy of the new EP. Okay. Well, I'm going to get my copy as soon as we hang out. I'm in. I'm telling you. Michael, Take care. appreciate the time, sir. Blessings to you, bro. Thank you. Good luck and talk to you soon. Yes, sir. Stay safe. All right. You too, sir. Thank yes, you. Yes, sir. All right. Calling all lovers of soul music. The time to make soul music relevant again is now. You've been listening to the Bring Back Soul Music Podcast with Todd Woodson. If you enjoyed today's show, be sure to tell a friend. Make sure you never miss an episode by subscribing to our newsletter at bringbacksoulmusic.com. Well, that's our show for today. I'd like to thank my special guest, Mr. Michael Keith from the group 112. You can find out more about 112 on their website at 112forever.com. There you can pick up their latest EP called 112 Forever. Don't forget, you can listen to the Bring Back Soul Music Podcast on iTunes, Google Podcasts, Stitcher, and Spotify. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel at Bring Back Soul Music TV. If you have any questions or comments, please email us at comments at bringbacksoulmusic.com. I'm Todd Woodson. Thank you for joining us. See you next week.